Hey everybody, I want to wish all of you the most amazing happy Easter that you've ever known. And boy, we could use it, right? 2021, uh, 20 and 21 been some couple of crazy years. But guys, I just want to encourage you that Jesus is alive and he is on his throne and all is well and as my dad used to say this too shall pass but i wanted to welcome you out with me today on a, a little trip out fishing i want to talk to you about a, uh, one of my favorite passages of scripture from the whoo look there i think that was a gar uh from the gospel of luke and uh, it's a story that Jesus was sharing with his disciples. Actually, it was a parable that he had been sh uh, sharing with them about prayer. And he talked about uh, a religious man and how he, he kind of bragged on all the, the righteous things that he had done. And then there was a tax gatherer that was well aware of his sin and that when he went before the Lord, he, he, he couldn't even look upwards, but he hung his head and he beat his breast and he said, uh, Lord, I'm an unrighteous man. And Jesus told his disciples that he was the one who went away justified because he, he knew of his sinful condition while the religious man was trusting in his works for his righteousness. So Jesus was explaining these kingdom principles to his disciples and uh, I don't, if you will, listen with me while I, while I fish and I'll tell you the story. You see, Jesus goes on from there and a rich young ruler approached him. And the rich young ruler said, uh, teacher, he referred to Jesus as rabbi, teacher, and he said, uh, what must I do to inherit eternal life and Jesus said uh, he, he went over the law with him basically the Ten Commandments and he said you know honor your father and your mother don't murder don't steal and so forth and this rich young ruler said Lord all of these I've done since I was a little boy I've done all these things and Jesus said you know Jesus knew that he was a wealthy man and he knew his heart and he told the rich young ruler, he said, look, sell everything you have, give it to the poor, and follow me. And he said, the uh, rich young ruler hung his head and he walked away, for he was very wealthy. Now that's one example of someone that approached Jesus at this time. Well then, a little while later, there going on around the area of Jericho and Jesus is coming into town and big crowd is gathered and and uh, you know after this rich young ruler walked away dejected because of what Jesus had asked of him his disciples were confused and they said Lord uh, you know because Jesus told this rich young ruler he said it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to inherit the kingdom of God and so his disciples said Lord so then how is it even possible and Jesus told him he responded and said with man it's impossible but all things are possible with God and so the disciples were chewing on this as they came into Jericho and this big crowd had gathered because, you know, whenever Jesus was around, a lot of cool stuff was always happening. So they had all gathered to see what was going on and what it was all about. And there was a, there was a guy named Zacchaeus in the crowd. And he was the chief tax gatherer of that area. And guys, if you know anything about the Jewish culture in that day and age, they were, uh, Rome was the occupying force in the land, and they would levy a tax on the people 
a heavy tax and they would they would hire these Jews themselves to gather taxes from their own people and oh my gosh you talk about hatred you know to a Jew back then they would say uh, that in the level of sinfulness was Gentile dog tax gatherer that's how that's how bad the reputation was of a tax gatherer and Zacchaeus wasn't just a tax gatherer but he was the chief tax gatherer so out of that entire crowd that had gathered to see Jesus that day I would imagine Zacchaeus was probably the most hated person that had gathered that day but there was something going on in Zacchaeus's life in his heart that made him long to get a glimpse of Jesus. I'm sure he had heard about this strange rabbi that miracles were happening and people were calling him the son of God. Some people were calling him a prophet. Some people were saying he was Elijah returned. And he'd heard all these rumors and he wanted to get a glimpse of Jesus. And it said that he was a short man, that he was of small stature. So he climbed up a sycamore tree to get a better look. And as Jesus was walking through, he looked up and he saw Zacchaeus. And you know what? You ain't gonna believe this, guys, but anyone in that day and age who was looking to, to, to get public support, who was looking to be popular among the other people, uh, he would have rebuked Zacchaeus as a tax gatherer and he would have raked him over the coals in front of all those people <laughs> and everybody in that crowd would have just responded and cheered and I'm sure Jesus would have really built a fan base but you know what Jesus did when he saw Zacchaeus he immediately saw his heart and he said Zacchaeus come down from there we're going to eat or dine at your place tonight and oh my gosh guys in that culture in this day and age even now in the Middle East and most cultures there in the Middle East it's a great sign of honor to dine in somebody's home it brings honor to them and now this rabbi this strange radical rabbi honors him in front of all the people and said we're gonna eat at your place today and you know what ama how amazing that was his disciples and the other people whoa that's a good trap the other people there that had gathered they it said that they grumbled because they said who is this man that is going to dine or eat in the house of a sinner and so oh that's a good one Woo -hoo -hoo, look at that trout so anyway guys this is this is how different oh look at there man this is how different Jesus is than the way man thinks this is what I came for boys boys and girls this is the one I came for thank you Jesus oh look at that look at that trout Oh, hold still, Betty. Hold still, Betty. Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> Another six and a half pounder. Nice. Okay, thank you, Lord. So anyway, Jesus, he didn't think for a moment how it would affect his reputation. He didn't think about popularity. He didn't think about politics. All he knew was he saw the heart of a man that was empty and bankrupt even though he was a man of wealth jesus saw that he was empty oh you beautiful thing thank you lord all right guys bear with me just a second i'm gonna measure this girl put her back oh nice 25 inch came for some good ones Thank you, Lord, for that one. <clears throat> Anyhow, guys, you know, it said that Zacchaeus was so moved by what happened 
that here you go girl I'm gonna turn you loose I'm not even gonna have to swim her there she goes I'll catch you again uh, Zacchaeus was so moved by the honor that Jesus gave him that it said he told the Lord he said Lord I will give half of my wealth to the poor and anyone that I have swindled or done things that weren't lawful or cheated he said I'll pay him back fourfold and Jesus said something amazing he said he said uh, salvation has come to this household and guys there's your contrast between two different types of people you've got those that they trust in their own righteousness and then you have those who know that their own righteousness is filthy rags compared to the Lord and they trust in him only so guys that's what I want to leave you with this Easter is to examine your own heart what are you trusting in are you trusting in the good things you do and hope that someday you're going to stand before the Lord and He's going to weigh out the good versus the bad and you hope the scales go in your favor? Well, guys, I'm telling you that man's righteousness is filthy compared to the Lord. And there's no, nothing that we can do to be righteous in His eyes. We need to have the heart of Zacchaeus to say, I know I'm a sinner and I trust in the Lord because of His righteousness. And guys, I love you all, and I hope you enjoyed this little visit with me and catch that big old trout. But I want to tell you, God is good, and I hope you have a great Easter. Love you all, and talk to you soon.